This is Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. Today I would like to demonstrate the process for recovering from a loss of extrusion on the model side. This is part one of a two-part video and this operation is appropriate for Dimension 768s and the Elite printers. The first thing you want to do from the idle screen of the printer panel, you want to select the option that tells you you want to go into maintenance mode. From there, in the next panel, you're going to be seeing the options to select machine. After you have selected the machine option, the printer will start a calibration process and searching for finding home. After that is done, you'll be able to move on to the next step. Before selecting the head option, you need to be sure and put in a clear platform inside of the machine so it, when it goes out to um, find the home positions on the platform, it will be able to complete the process. At that point, the head will be moving to the center of the platform area so that it becomes easier to recover from the extrusion loss, which will be covered next. Before opening the head to work on the components inside the head, it's always a good idea to use the thermal gloves that came with the startup kit because the head components are very, very hot and dangerous to touch with the bare hand. At this point, if you open up the front door, you'll notice on the left hand side of the head there are two Phillips head screws. They're quarter turn screws, so all you have to do is apply a quarter turn to each screw and then you can open up the head to see inside. This diagram has been simplified by removing the wiring to make it easier to see inside the head. After you have the head open, you'll want to go in and snip the materials if they're there. Uh, model and support. That will help you be able to maneuver around inside the head. With the head open, you can see that there is a piece of model that has been wrapped around the drive gears. Many times you'll have to take the drive motor out to be able to remove that material. There are two captive allen head screws that can be loosened which allows you to be able to remove the drive motor from the swivel head assembly. After removing the drive motor then you'll be able to use the front panel menu to use the forward or reverse options to drive the material out of the motor mechanism. This will clear the path so that you can go back in and reapply the motor. In some instances you'll find that you won't be able to remove the material. In these, this case you might find that if you remove the funnel piece which uses the 764 Allen wrench as well, you will see that there's a little bulge on the end of the material. When you find that bulge, you can usually remove it by hand by pulling it from the funnel from the opposite side. After the material has been cleared from the motor gears, you can gently let the motor dangle while you work on the inside of the head, which is the next step. Now it's time to concentrate on the inside of the swivel head. You'll notice that there's a small piece of model material still sticking out of the inlet tube. You can use a small set of needle nose pliers to remove that little piece of material. After you have removed that small bit of material, you still need to clear a path for incoming model material. At that point you can use a small Allen wrench to push the material 
back into the head through the inlet tube to clear that path. You are now ready to reassemble the drive motor into your swivel head. You can now close the head. As you close the head, be careful not to pinch the cables. Once that's done, you can start to go through the menu system and start to reload the model material. This concludes part one of the video. If you need assistance with the support side clearing and extrusion, that video is in part two of recovering from a loss of extrusion. This has been Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you. Thank you.